Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the tea bag rocket. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a tea bag, a plate, a lighter, scissors, and a room without a draft. A couple safety precautions here is a potential fire hazard. This demonstration should always be under adult supervision. The tea bag will lift off almost every time vertically, but however, if there's any drafts in the room, it will change the pass. Maybe it knocks over, but the heat will make it rise up. So this experiment should always be performed away from any flammable materials. So we're going to start off with uh, our tea. I use the Earl Grey. You could use uh, other bags. Uh, I tried Lipton tea and it did not work at all. It just burnt the, the cylinder. So um, what we do here is you're going to take your tea and you're going to open it up. And if it has a string, we're going to cut that string off. Uh, so without tearing the cylinder, uh, paper cylinder, there, so be very careful. If it has a staple, you're gonna remove the staple very carefully um, without ripping the bag. Um, so there it is, strings off. Now we're gonna do probably the cardinal sin for all you people to drink tea. We are going to pour the tea leaves out. So um, we are not having tea today. Uh, so I know that will disappoint some people. Put your finger in the cylinder on both ends because you want it to be a cylinder. Hence the name cylinder, right? So uh, once you get it into a cylinder, um, you're going to put it on a plate, right? So we're going to put it on a plate and uh, straight up. And you need a room that does not have a draft in it. If there's a draft in it, it will blow over like that. And sometimes one side stands better than the other. Then once we have it set up, you're going to ask the question, what happens after I light the tea bag on the top? So we light the tea bag on the top. You ask the kids before you light it what's going to happen to the tea bag and hence the name it takes off just like that it's pretty awesome here's slow mo and the science behind it there are three principles acting on the cylinder that you made from the tea bag that makes this experiment work the first principle involves the density of the air with the cylinder as it compares to the air on the outside of the cylinder the flame burns down the tea bag it heats up the air that's contained inside the cylinder this excites the individual air molecules, causing them to move more quickly and spread them out within the cylinder. This experiment also demonstrates the second principle, convention currents. As we just explained, the burning ba tea bag creates hot air, less dense air. This creates a thermal or a convention current. The space created by the less dense air inside the cylinder allows the dense air outside to push upward from the bottom. That movement of current in the air referred to as a convention current. Here we go, blast off, and you can see it's still kind of lit up, a little bit of flames, and then right when it gets to the ceiling, it's completely out, and it is safe for the kids to catch. As you'll see with my hand right here, it's the fun part of the kids running over and grabbing the ash. Um, it's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> But that isn't enough to create the rocket you just saw at the end of the experiment. The third principle, as the bag of tea burns, it turns into both the ash and smoke. The smoke lifts away and dissipates into the air, leaving just a delicate ash frame. Since the ash is so lightweight, the force of the rising hot air is strong enough to pull and lift the ash into the air. This is an experiment we really like to do after dinner when we have company over. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up or to share if you enjoyed it. Um, and thanks for watching.